वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल सॉल्व न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ एल एम टी डी इन हीट एक्सचेंजर दैट इज द पार्ट ऑफ हीट एंड मास ट्रांसफर स्पेशली फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ बी टेक ओके लेट इज स्टार्ट वी आर टेकिंग ए न्यूमेरिकल द फ्लोर एड्स ऑफ हॉट एंड कोल्ड वाटर इट मीन्स हॉट फ्लोर इज वाटर एज वेल एज कोल्ड फ्लोर इज वाटर स्ट्रीम्स रनिंग थ्रू ए पैरल फ्लो हीट एक्सचेंजर हीट एक्सचेंजर इज पैरल फ्लो आर जीरो पॉइंट थ्री के जी पर सेकेंड यू कैन सी द रेट्स आर गिवन टू अस द फर्स्ट वन इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेकेंड राइट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सेकेंड एंड जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स के जी पर सेकेंड सो क्लियरली दिस इज एम एच डॉट दिस इज द हीट फ्लो रेट ऑफ हॉट फ्लोर एंड दिस इज द हीट फ्लो रेट ऑफ कोल्ड फ्लोर राइट द एले टेम्परेचर ऑन द हॉट एंड कोल्ड साइड्स आर दिस इज टी एच वन This is the inlet temperature of hot fluid, and this is the inlet temperature of cold fluid, respectively. The outlet temperature of hot water is outlet temperature is given to us T S two. If the individual heat transfer coefficient on both the sides are H H I and H O, both are given to us. That is seven hundred watt per meter square degree Celsius. Calculate the area of heat exchange. Okay. So what is given to us? I already told you we are having. Mass flow rate of hot fluid that is zero point three kg per second. Mass flow rate of cold fluid that is zero point six kg per second. And inlet temperature of hot fluid that was eighty degree Celsius. Inlet outlet temperature of hot fluid fifty degree Celsius. Inlet temperature of cold fluid and outlet temperature of of cold fluid is not given to us, right? And H I and H O convective heat transfer coefficient at the inner surface and outer surface is given to us that is seven hundred watt per meter square degree Celsius. And specific heat of water. This is not given, but you must know that specific heat of water. Since hot fluid is water and cold fluid is water, that's why CPH and CPC specific heat is 4.187 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. That is the standard value of specific heat of water, and it will be considered for both the fluids, hot as well as cold fluid. Okay. So this is the diagram. This is the case of parallel flow heat exchanger. This is the inlet temperature of hot fluid, inlet temperature of cold fluid. When fluid is moving. in the heat exchanger temperature of cold fluid is increasing and temperature of hot fluid is decreasing you can see the final temperature of hot fluid is th2 and final temperature of cold fluid is tc2 and the difference of th1 th1 and tc1 that is denoted by theta1 similarly difference of th2 minus tc2 it denoted by theta2 right and temperature difference at any point between hot fluid and cold fluid is denoted by theta right Now heat transfer rate. As we know, if we are considering hot fluid, why we have to consider hot fluid? Because both the temperature of hot fluid are given to us. So we are writing Q is equal to m s delta T. Somewhere you read in ninth class and eleventh class. M means mass flow rate as the specific heat, and delta T is change in temperature. So mass flow rate of hot fluid we are having this specific heat of hot fluid we are having. The water is there, and inlet temperature of hot fluid is eighty degree Celsius, and outlet temperature of hot fluid is fifty degree Celsius. So we have calculated heat transfer rate, and that comes out to be thirty-seven point six eight three kilojoule per second, right? Since we were not having T C two, so that's why it was not easy for us to calculate it for the cold fluid initially. Now heat lost by the hot water in ideal condition, it is assumed that heat lost by the hot fluid is equal to heat gained by the cold fluid. So heat lost by the hot water will be equal to M S delta T of Cold fluid M S delta D M is mass flow rate S is specific heat and T C two minus T C one. With the help of this expression, we don't know T C two. We will be able to calculate the T C two. That is our interest. Okay, I wrote the value of the heat transfer which we have calculated from the hot fluid M C C P C T C two minus T C one. We know uh, the heat flow rate of cold fluid that is zero point six and Uh, specific heat of cold fluid is 4.187 tc2 we don't know and that is 25 tc1 so by the help of by solving it we are able to calculate the value of cold fluid at the outlet and that comes out to be tc2 is 40 degree celsius right we have calculated the value of hot cold fluid at the outlet now we are having value of both the fluids at inlet and outlet means temperature at inlet and outlet cold fluid as well as hot fluid okay now theta1 is Th1 minus Tc1 that is 80 minus 25, 50 degree 55 degree Celsius, and theta2 is the difference of temperature of hot fluid and cold fluid at the outlet, and that is Th2 minus Tc2, and that is 50 degree Celsius minus 40 degree Celsius, and that comes out to 10 degree Celsius, right? 
So, we have calculated theta 1 and theta 2. Now, we can calculate LMTD. So, LMTD as we have learned earlier the value of LMTD is uh, theta 2 minus theta 1 upon ln theta 2 upon theta 1 right. This also denoted by theta m. So, the value of theta 2 is 55 be rotated here, value of theta 1 is 10 be rotated here again ln theta 2 55 upon 10 55 upon 10 and this value comes out to be 26.4 that is the value of LMTD. LMTD is 26.4 degree Celsius right. Now, overall heat transfer coefficient we are having convective heat transfer coefficient and uh, convective heat transfer coefficient of both the floats is same that is 700 degree 700 watt per meter square degree Celsius. So, we put the value of H i and H o. So, we can convert the value of overall heat transfer coefficient and it comes out to 350 watt per meter square degree Celsius. Okay. Now, we know it that heat transfer rate is given by overall heat transfer coefficient into area into LMTD. That is why area of heat exchange will be Q upon U theta m LMTD. Q already calculated by us 37.683 into 1000 have been multiplied because it was calculated by us in joule per second right. So, U is 350 and theta m is 26.4. So, area of heat exchange is 4.078 meter square that is the area of heat exchange. So, thus we have solved the numerical. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like this video and share this video. If you have any doubt, any query, any question, please write in the comment section. And if you want video on, on, it, on any topic of your choice, do mention in the comment section. Once again, thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.